south side of Chicago. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the Chicago White Sox. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. And our starting pitcher here today, Mike Clevenger. What do you have on him? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. All right, ready to get underway. Luis Arise stands in. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone. And this one is off and running. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. The one one is fouled off. Ripped on a line. One down. And now for the Marlins, Brian De La Cruz. Ball one, no strikes. Just off the outside edge. The wind of the pitch. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He'll circle the bases, his ninth homer of the year, and the Marlins jump out in front. It's 1-0. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball and get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. Now at the plate, Jesus Sanchez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now two away. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there, and I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to whereas you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. And the 1 0. Just nope. miss. Oh, nope. and the zone doesn't get the call. And that's ball three. Right-hander kicks deals. The right-hander oh, gives up the two-out walk. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Here's Joey Wendell. And first offering is fouled off. Guriel leads off first with two down to the inning. And that one almost got him. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated.
the pitch. That one drifts inside. Two outs. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Riding to the plate. And that one off the outside edge. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Stays alive. Left-hand batter waits. And that one hammered. That's back. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Miami strikes first on the solo homer. It's an early 1-0 lead. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Guaranteed Rate Field. And starting this one, Edward Cabrera. And Singy, that may be his name, but the strikeout is his game. Well, Boog, I can tell you've been working on that one, but yes, you are right. This guy's strikeout per nine, over 11. I mean, that's just getting it done. There are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup, and when you look at what he's Way able to do, up. man, well, it's going five. to be a fun one to watch the today. At the play, Jackson yeah. Frazier. Frazier. The wind and the pitch. You see the velocity 97 with that fastball. The 0 1. There's a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0 2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. And one and two. Well, that's kind of what one you ball, expect in an 0-2 two count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Ball Next two. offering is downstairs. It's a good take. 2-2 two, two now. Good job to fight that one off. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. 2-2 now. In the dirt. The throw to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And that one wrapped foul. And the righty deals. And there's a the ball. Rarely will three. you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Sneaks through, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Good job of just that putting the good. ball in play with Those two strikes. Good. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now it's Luis Robert. That's a strike. 0-1.
on the ground to short and a base hit right there. Back to back base hits that pretty much split the zone down the middle and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Aloy Jimenez. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. The 1-0. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. Well, there's no hiding in this spot. Base is loaded now, and no more wiggle room for any more mistakes like that. So base is loaded with one away. And next to hit for the Sox, Yoan Moncada. Pitch misses inside. 1-0. and oh. Kicks and deals. So two balls and no strikes. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in a run. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. The pitch. And now two and one. Sheets at third. Robert over at second. Jimenez over at first. So going away. Swing and a slow roller. Segura tossed the second. Throw to first, but he beat it. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. And now Jake Berger. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. First offering, and it just misses. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. The pitch. Hey. And a swing to miss. And that misses off the outside edge. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. A run on two hits, and they leave one. We head to the second on the south side. All tied, 1-1. One, one. Top of the second, and now the veteran third baseman, Gene Segura. Gene Segura. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff dive. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. John Birdie at the plate. Swing and a foul straight back. Off the mark there. And one and one. And Chris behind the plate today, James Kingsley, known for being a little generous on the edges. Next pitch is popped up. Gonzalez under it. 
He's got it. And there's one down. The Jacob Stallings now. And that's in there for strike one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Hey. In for a strike. And it's nothing in two. Tied up here in the early going. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And there's two away. Here's Garrett Hampson. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Segura off of first with two away. Clevenger with a pickoff throw. Segura dives back in. The next pitch misses, and the count is 1 and 1. And now two and one after that missed inside. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Swing and a miss. Down to first. Marlins leave one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Here on the south side, stepping in the long ball threat, Jake Berger. Jake Berger. And he deals. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Hampson makes the catch. And there's one away. Batting seven. The catch. Yasmani. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Foul ball. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Way inside, gets out of the way. And now it's filled up. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. And now, Romy Gonzalez. Play. 
check swing, but he went too far. Going to one. Double play ball to second. There's one. Over to first. Safe. Batting done. Not short shot. Elvis. Andrews. Here's Elvis Andrews. And that's outside. In the air to left center, Hampson in position. And that ends the inning. So a man left for the White Sox. Score remains tied 1-1. And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Luis Arias. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. They say it went. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. Next one just misses. It's two and two. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Now at the center field. Brian De La Cruz, the next to hit. One for one so far today with a solo homer at his first at bat. And first offering is fouled off. De La Cruz measures six feet two inches, batting second in today's lineup, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And a foul ball. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Next pitch is outside. Not close with that one. Two balls, two strikes. And the pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Grandal puts it away. Two down. Going to have to have a little more discipline in future yeah, bats. Yeah, yeah. That the pitch one, looked good, but you easy. can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or weak contact in the infield. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. A one down. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The one two. Line drive, base hit. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Two outs, runner at first. Here's Guriel. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Guriel, 38 years old, and he's a former gold glover in the American League.
the 1 0. Guriel gets a piece. And that is cut on and missed. And the count 1 and 2. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Joey Wendell waits on deck for Miami. Sanchez off of first with two away. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. The pitch. And he walked him. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So two on with two away. Joey Wendell digs in now. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Flied out to the warning track. A little bit high. And that is ball one. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. Two on, two outs. Hey. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string and the changeup. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. As we go to the last of the third, and now the DH, Jackson Frazier. Frazier. Cabrera back to work. Ball one low. Count one and oh. And there's a curve through for a strike. Slider misses outside. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. That one is hammered right field. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts the bottom of the third with a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now it's the right fielder, Gavin Sheets. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. In there and it's 0-1. And the right-hander deals. And a foul ball. Runner at second, nobody out. Left field. Fair ball. 
Frazier coming home. Now a long throw home. Run comes in from second. It's 2-1. Well done. Drives in the run. Just a blue hit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Luis Robert now. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And that's outside. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Now 3-0. and oh. And that's in for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning now if they can get a couple more quality at bats. Oh, Aloy Jimenez now. He Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy oh, always seems shot. to deliver in those spots. No outs, runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. And they take care of Jimenez for the out. That was a much needed double play right there. It gives him a really good shot at minimizing any further damage in this inning. And now Yohan Moncada. He's 0 for 1. Moncada. And takes low for ball one. Sheets at third with two away. They say it went. One and one. And here it comes. Tapper back to the mound. In plenty of time to first. They limit the damage here. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Start of the fourth. Now the third baseman, Gene Segura. The right-hander back to work. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. There's a strike. That's in there. One and two. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and, and command ball. them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Two, two. And the 2-2. Two, two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Next one is off the plate. Counts full three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That smash towards center. 
Robert makes the grab one down. John Birdie the next up for the Marlins. He popped out his first time. In there for strike one. Not what he's looking for there in the OO Cal. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. This one in the air center field. Robert brings it in with a nice run and grab. Now bad. The catcher. Here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. Over one so far. First offering misses the mark. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Righty delivers. Hammered down the right side, but foul. And now it's one and two. Bounced out to short. Andrews to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing doing for the Marlins. And our score remains 2 1. Bottom four. And now the first Leading baseman, off. Jake Berger. The first baseman, Jake Berger. The wide to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Ball. And another Two ball. ball. One strike. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Lace down the line. Base hit right field. Now he'll turn for second. And it's a leadoff double to start the bottom of the fourth. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Yasmani Grandal up to him. And he's already singled in this game. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. The throw in. Runner from second crosses the plate. It's 3-1. Comes through with the RBI. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And up next for Chicago, Romy Gonzalez. And there's the strike. At the belt and fires. And it's one and one. Grandal gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. The batter, number one. Shortstop. So up next for Chicago, Elvis Andrews. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike.
Misses inside. And the count even one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Ryan Hoeing is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. This one smacked out to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. The batter, number 15. Designated hitter. Jackson. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Jackson Frazier. One for two. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And the 1 0. Into center and a base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. All over that one right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Now the number two hitter, Gavin Sheets. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. In there at the knees. One out, base is full. Down and in, moved his feet. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats, and the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Kicks and fires. That one missed. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Can't get too big here, Boog, with the bases loaded. Three and two. Payoff pitch. And there's a base hit to left. Oh, that's a big at bat coming through in the clutch to drive in a pair. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Edward Cabrera is done, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. Ryan Hoeing taking over on the mound. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. First and second, one out. Here's the center fielder, Luis Robert. That's to third. Segura to second. What a double play that was. Inning over. So they get three runs, five hits, no errors, and one left. We played four. It's the White Sox five and the Marlins one. Back here on the south side, here's a speed threat, Garrett Hampson. The wind and the pitch. In for a strike, it's 0-1. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen, Tanner Banks, the left-hander, up and throwing. Santos, the right-hander, loosening up as well. The wind and the pitch. On the ground, right side. And that chance handled. On the run, sends it over to first. Awesome play there. Back to the top of the Miami order. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter, Luis Arias. 
he's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Out to center. Robert makes the grab on the run. And at the play for Miami, Ryan De La Cruz. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. That nope. one close, ruled a ball. And that's ball one. That's a little bit low. Two balls, no strike. The wind, the kick, the 2-0. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. That just oh, missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. And now the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. That one pushed foul. De La Cruz, the runner at first with two gone. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. In the air, left field. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And that is that. One left for Miami. They're down here five to one. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox. Aloy Jimenez. And a pitch. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That one's deep, and it one hops the wall. Fires the second too late, and he's got a double. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. So, man aboard. Here is Moncada. That's in there. That's strike one. You know, these White Sox doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. Double-digit hits, and they've done a great job of avoiding the strikeout. Only one of them so far, which tells you a lot. Right-handed reliever. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Jimenez around third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And the lead is up to five. He was all over that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Man at first. And next to him for the Sox, Jake Berger. That one misses. And it's 1-0. Oh. And the righty deals. That one ripped. Makes the catch. And there's one down. Here on the south side. And so you spent a few years oh, playing for the, the White Sox. Sox. What are those memories like? Great city. Chicago is along the lines of New York and, and Boston in terms of just the buzz of the city. For me, it being my first big league team and big league city, extremely special because... Uh, along with, you know, cracking the lineup and, and playing, we had our first. Over to Wendell. There's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. But they push across one run on two hits. No errors and no one left. We're through five. It's the White Sox six and the Marlins one. Tanner Banks gets the call from the pen. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Number 57, Tanner Banks. 
Now it's Yuli Gurriel. Leading off with the Marlins. The first base is number 10. Yulieski Gurriel. The pitch. They say it went. Banks. A 6-1 lefty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and occasionally mixes in the slur. That one ran inside, almost got him. In the air, left field. Jimenez trying to get there and makes the grab. And there's one down. Joey Wendell. And now the shortstop, Joey Wendell. Wendell goes six foot one, 32 years old. He's one of the few Major League Baseball players born in the state of Delaware. First pitch, and he just misses. Activity in the bullpen. Ronaldo Lopez getting ready to go. Middleton warming up as well. And now the lefty. There's a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Started to go at the one two. A check on it to third. And he held back according to Larry Bullard. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Moncada makes the grab. And there's two down. Now that the third base is Gene Segura. Gene Segura at the plate here. And it's fouled away. Kicks and deals. That one fouled off. And a pitch. And now one, one and two. And now two and two. And that's downstairs and outside. Fights it off, you'll see another. The pitch. And there's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Birdie in the box again, takes the strike. On the ground right side. They take the force out, third out, and that ends the frame. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the White Sox six and the Marlins one. Welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Romy Gonzalez. The second baseman, Romy Gonzalez. And a pitch. That's in there. All one's the count. Out to short. Wendell. Throws the first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Well, he's one of the best shortstops in the sport. No doubt about it. And he put his skills on display once again right there. Great stop on the backhand. But it was the transfer and throw for me that really stood out.
With the speed going down the line, there's no way he gets the out any other way. That was impressive. Andrews up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Andrews, a member of the 2000 hit club, and he was born in Venezuela. Slice down the right side. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500 plus home runs, 3,000 plus oh, hits, and a triple crown. Riding to the plate. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. And he deals. Hey. We got full count. Out there to center. That one gets down for a hit. So now back to the top of the order. Next is the designated hitter, Jackson Frazier. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. That's in there. And that's strike one. And the pitch. Ball one there. Outside, that's the ball. Andrews at first, one gone. Lifted in the air, right field. Sanchez gets under it. He's got it, and there's two away. Now that the, right the right field. field. Gavin. Sheets. Man at first, Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. Swing and a miss. 0-1-1. Oh, well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at-bat? The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the White Sox six and the Marlins one. Back at guaranteed rate field. Off, Top of inning number seven. Leading hand. off, Jacob Jake Stallings. Stallings. The pitch. Right side, hard hit. Fires over to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. The batter, the left field. Garrett, Garrett Hampson. Garrett Hampson now at the plate. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. And he lays down a bunt. And he grabs it foul. And he'll one. And that's a strike. In the dirt, going to count one and two. Got him. Two away. The battle out of three. And now for the Marlins, Luis arrives. Orion. First pitch oh, doesn't right find the zone. Left hand hitter waits. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And here it comes. Ball. 
The idea was right looking to locate that fastball up and in he just missed his spot a little bit. Lifted in the air down the left side and that'll fall for a base hit and that keeps the inning going. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today so impressed with his ability to let the ball travel go back up the middle and the other way sometimes when you step in the box during the game you get a little anxious and you get away from that but so far I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation Dela Cruz stands in with two away as he takes a ball he's already homered in this game arise leads off first with two down to the inning. Swing and a miss, strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. And a ball evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. That's off the mark. Three and two down. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. 3 2. Base hit center field. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Now, Jesus Sanchez, one for three. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two on, two outs. That one off the mark. One ball, one strike. First and second, two down. Swing and a base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. The rides around third. One run across. De La Cruz coming home. Making some noise here. Two RBIs on that swing, and they're right back in it. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Garrett Crochet gets the ball now. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. There's a strike. All ones the count. Way high. Runner at second, two down. Next Eight. offering is in for a strike. Runner leads away at second. To the right side. On to first, and Guriel is out. And that is that. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now 6-3. Major League Baseball is on the show. Here on the south side, and now the center fielder, Luis Robert. Hoeing back to work. And that's a little bit high. And that's ball one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Dylan Floro, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. And that one lifted in the air center field. De La Cruz calls it in, and there's one away. Up next to Chicago. 
the left field. Aloy Jimenez oh, steps to the plate for the White Sox. First offering misses the mark. And that's down it away. The wind of the pitch. And that's ball four. Ball four. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Here is Yohan Moncada. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And delivers outside. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Righty delivers. Ground ball right side. And it's through for a hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Now bat. First base. And up next for Chicago, Jake Berger. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swings through that one, 0-1. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. That one misses, and it's a ball and a strike. And that's too high. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. Runners at first and second with one gone. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 2-2. Two -two. And that one missing low. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Guriel over to second, and he'll keep it for just the one. Yasmani Grandal steps to the plate for the White Sox. Next pitch has popped up. Wendell has it sized up. And that'll do it. White Sox strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 6-3 lead. And welcome back. We go to the eighth. And now here is Joey Wendell. The, short the fish shot. in striking Joey. distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And yeah, the first well, offering is not close. Action in the pen down there. Liam Hendricks up and loosening in the pen. The 1 0. 
That one pulled foul. Well it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth that closer's coming That's in. Ball two. Next one misses ball two. Comes up empty that's strike two instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended tied him up a little bit slightly up slightly in. That one is absolutely belted. Sheets raging back towards the wall. Back some more. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. Up next for the ball. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that. But he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Here's the third baseman, Gene Segura. Here's the strike. Inside, just missed. Runner at third here. Nobody out. The next offering misses. And a count two and one. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. That's a really good take, knowing you got an opportunity to drive in a run here. At the belt and fires. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The pitch stays alive. The 2 2 gets a piece and stays alive. No outs, runner over at third. Still two and two after the foul ball. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Got him looking. Tries to back pick him at third. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there. And I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Birdie, batting with one down, takes a strike. The pitch. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Kicks and fires. And down on strikes. Now a snap throw down to third. And now he's got a real chance at stranding that leadoff triple. Yeah, back to back strikeouts. And now the scoring probability goes way down. And he's just got to focus, execute a couple more pitches, and he can walk back to the dugout and breathe a sigh of relief. New pitcher on now, Aaron Bummer. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Jacob Stallings will hit next. That's off the mark. Ball one. Bomber deals. On the ground to third. That's a base hit. Run scores. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Garrett Hampson, the next up for the Marlins. 
corner infielders guarding the lines trying to prevent extra bases. He was late there oh, strike yeah. one. Stallings off of first with two away. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The batter. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Luis Arias, the next to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs on the ground and foul ball. And a pitch. Swings through that. One ball. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two run lead. Next offering misses. Two and two. Man, oh man. I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And now two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if you can find some open grass in the outfield. Left hand batter waits. Now here's a flare off the bat. Brings it in for the third out. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 6-4 ball game. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Leading Here's the second Romo baseman, White White White. Romy Gonzalez. The second, second baseman. baseman. Romy. The wide to kick the pitch. That's the third, and that's just foul. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Gosh, here it is, hit it. Three pitch strikeout, all fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. So next, Elvis Andrews. Ball one, no strikes. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. The 1 1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. That one is upstairs. 2 2 now. And that just misses. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off. Right-handed reliever. And a foul ball. He stays alive. 3-2 now. Here's a high fly ball out to center. De La Cruz under it. Out number two. The batter, the batter number 15. 15. So the batting the order turns hitter. over. Now okay. it's the DH, Jackson Roger. Frazier. First pitch, That's not Bruno. close. And a good oh, eye there. Out. Two down, nobody on. And that's in for a strike. And the righty deals. 
just missing there. And the count's full. And he walked him. Ball four. Close pitch there, but you've got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. Dylan Floro into the game, and he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year, typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. Runner at first with two away. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. there and it's 0 one Well don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down what? around the knees to be effective. There's a 1-1. Outside. Pitch misses inside, and a count is three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. That's out to center field. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Nice work from the Miami pen there. Ninth inning coming up. It's the White Sox six and the Marlins four. Ronaldo Lopez on to pitch here. Well, he's had trouble at times keeping the ball in the park this season. Something to keep in mind here. Number 40, Ronaldo Lopez. And at the plate for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. He's already homered here in this one. Brian De La Cruz. Here comes a pitch. Started after it, appeal to first. And he went around, ruled a swing. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fouled off left side. And the right-hander deals. And one that ball. one almost Two got straight. him. And a pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. The high heat too much on that one. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Sanchez the next to hit takes outside activity in the pen for the White Sox Liam Hendricks the closer is getting loose Middleton getting cranked up as well and there at the knees and the count even at one. And there's a strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Goes down looking. Well, this is exactly what you're looking for from your bullpen arm when you roll them out there to start a new inning, hold on to a small lead. Just such a stabilizing effect. And not only get the first two hitters, but to strike them out. That gives everyone on defense a big boost of confidence. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Yuli Gurriel. Chopped to third. 
Grabs it barehanded. Fires to first. And what a play. Ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long from the south side of Chicago.